Welcome to Data Catch Up YouTube channel. Hey, make sure to subscribe for data science empowered videos. The future of cloud computing in the next five years. Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services, including servers, storage databases, networking, software analytics, and intelligence over the internet, the cloud, to offer innovation, flexible resources, and economies of scale. Typically, cloud services is a pay-as-you-go service, meaning you only pay for cloud services you use, helping you lower operational costs, run your infrastructure more efficiently, and scale as your business needs change. Types of cloud deployment. One, public cloud. Two, private cloud. Three, hybrid cloud. Four, community cloud. Types of cloud computing infrastructure. Types of cloud computing services. One, IaaS. Two, PaaS. Three, SaaS. Four, FaaS. If you are interested in cloud computing trends, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to help other viewers find this interesting video. Cloud providers in 2025 will sell solutions, not infrastructure. The infrastructure won't go away, of course. In 2025, AWS, Azure, and GCP will continue to support and sell all the primitive services which developers are familiar with today. Computing stances, ECT, storage, S3, message buffers, SQS. So, and these are all powerful tools and most importantly to developers, provide a nearly common API with familiar constructs. But there are huge downsides to providing dump infrastructure. If you are a cloud provider, common APIs mean a race to the bottom of price. If, de if developers only use the core components of each cloud platform, object storage, compute, queues, databases, serverless functions, QAs, cloud providers have to compete head on, head to on features and the prices converge to a low margin threshold. Customers are not locked into a particular cloud. It's easy to hop if a different cloud provider offers discounts or you have reliability problems. Land and expand. Customer acquisition strategy turns into land and desperately try to retain. Only engineers and DevOps engineers at that can realistically use your platform. Enterprises struggle to get on AWS because it is a massive engineering commitment. By only providing dumb pipes or dumb bricks, cloud providers require your customers to hire expensive employees just to use your platform. SaaS vendors are starting to, come to capture most of the actual value of the cloud. If a company migrates from an in-house, on-premise HR tool, onto Workday, which runs on AWS. Workday captures 95% of value running in the cloud. AWS built all the nuts and bolts, which made it easy to become a cloud native SaaS tool, but barely captures any of the value that they've created. Cloud providers are and will continue to pivot into changing, into pitching value out of the box solutions as their main offerings Services like BigQuery, Redshift, expose the power of SQL to business analysts, cut Snowflake out of the loop, make everyone in a company an AWS user. AWS for everyone. It doesn't exist yet, but we all know it's coming. Let your technical employees build tools on AWS in a no-code or no-code framework. AWS is tired of Zapier making all the money. 3. AI man, ML Toolkits Google Cloud Provider is making big machine learning plays. If business analysts can do machine learning directly from the GCP console, there is no need for intermediary startups to siphon off Google's revenue. This trend will continue. Google Amazon and Microsoft will emphasize the ease of build apps, 
storefronts and websites using their in-house tools. Pared down but usable versions of current SaaS tools will start appearing as cloud services. By 2025, probably 50% of an enterprise will be directly interacting with an AWS service versus maybe 10% who do today. The services we know and love or hate will still be around. EC2 will outlive us, any of us, but increasingly using AWS will mean using end-to-end -end polished tools and forgetting about the nuts and bolts underneath. In conclusion, cloud computing depending on business needs is deployed within organizations for maximum benefits, scalability, and IT operations and security. Hey, if you find this video interesting, hit the subscribe button to be notified on future videos. Interested in your career growth in data science? Visit datacatchup.com. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel for more data science videos.